Oh, boy, everyone, and welcome to this brand new episode of Jurassic World Alive. I couldn't help myself, and I saw that my app for this game updated, so I immediately thought that they had the pterosaurs come in, and as we can see from this new screen here, we've got the new update, and I am so excited to check it out. And, man... Caught me by surprise. I thought it was going to be later in the week, but they surprised us with having it today. So this video is going to be about me checking out the new update. So in case you haven't been following me since I first talked about this a few days ago, uh, they now have pterosaurs, which are the flying reptiles, and they also be having an inventory system. And some of the first items that they'll be having that you can get are capsules which will be used to attract dinosaurs into your general area. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of those items, they will have different quality level tiers as well for those capsules. But they said they will be adding more inventory items as time goes on, so that's very exciting. And now it's about to be done loading, so we're about to see what's new. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, uh, I've already looked at that. Tournament's over. Get, get out of the way. Just give it a second. Okay, there we go. Let's get out of here and let's see what's new. So there's the inventory icon on the bottom right, just above the corner. And then they have those, these green event boxes. It's pretty cool. They have a common strike event right here. That is blank, so I have no idea what it can do, what it, what's going to give me. So there appears to be no pterosaurs in my immediate area, or it's just still loading. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check this blue mail that I have here. Thank you for your support, our gift to you. I love Ludia. Man, just giving me, giving me free stuff here and there. That's really nice. just happened um, is anything gonna happen now open and freeze up well I might actually I think I had the game volume too loud for you guys so there we go and just there we go I hope it wasn't too loud for a few seconds there for you guys ooh rare scent Okay, so that's the new item. Yay, I got a capsule. Or their scent item. Ooh, pterosaur over there. I'm seeing pterosaurs, you guys. There's one. All right. Let's get ourselves whatever that is called. Oh my goodness. Our first pterosaur. Here we go. The Sung Car Gar Ipter Terrace. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yes, if if this was a common then I have enough. If not then I'm at least more than halfway. Okay, it's a rare, so more than halfway at least for that pterosaur. Any other pterosaurs in range? There does not appear to be one. Okay. Well, I do have incubators to open, so I'll go ahead and move on to that. And then I'll go look at the inventory. So we're getting our three cash. 20 darts and 90 DNA for Stegosaurus. And then defeat 10 creatures. I think that's the daily, yeah, the um, daily um, incubator victory that um, they now have as well. So that's another new thing. Got to defeat 10 creatures. I so I forgot to incubate these two, so we just have a standard and large incubator for this episode. So getting our coins, darts, some DNA for Velociraptor, and Irritator Gen 2, and Dimetrodon. 
and then for the large incubator here <clears throat> we have a lot more coins more darts velociraptor DNA post to suches can level up that dinosaur now almost enough to level up in Kylosaurus and some more DNA for stigma lock okay now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the inventory bag okay so scent capsule rare scent epic scent okay so that's all they have for now as far as items go but I got one rare so that'll be cool not gonna use it in this episode right now probably gonna use it in a future one actually I'm gonna go ahead and look at the new I'm gonna see if they have those in the shop yet equipment yes they do so 50 cash for five um, cent capsules 200 for a rare scent and then a thousand cash for an epic scent does it have a description yes it does so I'll start with reading off the common one this scent capsule is synthesized to draw creatures toward you towards you for a short duration five minutes this is what it says on there 20 minutes Minimum guaranteed one rare creature. This rare scent is synthesized to draw rare creatures towards you. It guarantees one rare encounter increases your chance of other rare encounters while active. Okay, and then the epic. Minimum guaranteed is one epic creature, 20 minutes. This epic scent is synthesized to draw epic creatures towards you. It guarantees one epic encounter and increases your chances of, at other epic encounters while active. Nice. I'm really liking this. Ludia, you did awesome. Really happy with what you've done so far. Um, since there aren't any other pterosaurs in my immediate area, I'll go ahead and do a couple battles. Or, wait. I'm gonna, for, spoke too soon. I'm going to first look and see if I have anything to level up here. Pretty sure I had post to suit just to level up. Yes, I do. So I'll go ahead and check him out. Uh, actually, not gonna level him up because he has post dimetrodon, and I need more dimetrodon DNA. AR. Um. So, I'm gonna go ahead and read through this real quick, and then I'll be right back and explain it to you. Okay. So, in short, is AR stands for augmented reality, which basically enables your phone's camera to project the dinosaur in the in front of you and it will just have the dinosaur show up on your phone in your real life space however my phone is not compatible so unfortunately I will not be able to show that off but it's a pretty nice touch that Ludia has included And I think Monolophosaurus has either a hybrid or needs to level up. Monolometrodon. That's new. I'm pretty sure it takes Dimetrodon Gen 2. Okay. So they both need to be level 15, so I'll go ahead and level up Monolophosaurus Gen 2. Here we go, level 10. 52 health and 26 more damage. And for some reason I just forgot what their level needs to be, 10 or 15. Yeah, 15. So we got that out of the way from Monolophosaurus Gen 2. And then the other one is Dimetrodon Gen 2, which I don't have any DNA to level of that one. So we got that. And now I'm going to look and see. So they went from 117 or 112 dinosaurs. Now they're up to 123 dinosaurs. And I have 78. So I have a lot of them, but there's still quite a few I haven't seen. And since the Pterosaur update, there's quite a few I haven't even seen yet. Now, if I was correct, um, in the last episode, yes, Giraffe Titan, I believe, has a hybrid now. Let's check that out. 
see what the other dinosaurs needed. Come on, loading loading bar. There you go. Okay, Notopatosaurus, and it turns into no, Notopat, Notopatotitan. The gigantic body of the Notopatotitan has some unique traits. The longer, stronger tail granted by its apatosaur ancestry gives it impeccable balance and su surprising speed for a dinosaur so large. So they both need to be level 15, and they create a legendary hybrid. Ooh, that's a cool looking dinosaur. I cannot wait to get that. Notopata Titan. That's, de that's a hybrid that I'm definitely excited to hopefully get at some point. And then this Velociraptor is blue, which I have not actually collected any DNA on. And Brachiosaurus is right there, Spinosaurus. And then this um, Pterosaur, which I have trouble pronouncing its name. Sungar, 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 Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to actually um, pronounce that, so I'm not gonna try. <clears throat> but we can go ahead and do a couple of battles now. So it looks like for the, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like for the daily incubator. I need to defeat 10 creatures, and <clears throat> right now I can only do two battles because the incubator's there. I can actually continue on doing more battles with the lab full of incubators, but I just won't be getting incubators, and since that's pretty much the point of doing battles, um, I don't do any more battles after their, the lab is full. So I know, I probably haven't mentioned that in this series so far, so I... I did mention it now, so now you know that, and let's get into this battle. Maybe even encounter someone who already has a pterosaur. So they, they're now showing the symbol or icon up there, showing um, the. They're now showing the symbol up there above the word. And they have that animation of having the priority speed um, going back and forth is pretty cool looking. Okay, Baryonyx. It's up to you to take down Stegosaurus. I'm going to do Ready to Crush. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off Stegosaurus. That was a close one. Stegosaurus is down. Now on to another dinosaur. Hopefully we can win this. Ehrlichosaurus. Okay, well that's the end of Baryonyx, unfortunately, but we're not that we're not out of the, we're not out of the battle yet. We could still win this. Strike and run. It's kind of soon to be doing that. Spinosaurus. Well, that was a mistake on their part. I'll go ahead and use Greater Stunning Strikes. I do not want Stego Stegoceratops to get hit. Switching back, okay. Um, I don't know what's up with this person, but um, they just made it much easier for me to win. Which I'm okay, I'm actually okay with because of the times I've lost, I think it's okay if I win. Gnashing wound, that's a new one. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay. Exploit wound, they've changed the look on that one. 
All right. Majungus. Majungasaurus. Has swap in ferocity. Oh, that's when it swaps in. They ha has that new thing. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I almost died there, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Giraffe Titan. Swap in slow. Okay, so when it swaps in, it reduces the enemy dinosaur speed by 50%. So they now have swap in. Um, Swap in effects. That's a new dynamic. That's actually pretty cool. Nope. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Come on. Let me back in. There we go. Ooh, critical hit. Okay, rampage. Time to finish it off. Time to finish them off. And down you go. Man, they have a, that's pretty cool. They've made some change, really awesome changes to the battle mechanics. So I'm really happy with. I'm really happy with that. So Ludia, um, if you ever see this video. I am very satisfied with what you've done in the update, and please keep up the hard work because I really appreciate it. They are 3 out of 10, going in for another battle. Yes, I am very happy with what Ludia has done. So props to you guys, my hat, off, my hat goes off to you guys, and I will continue on my series, and also tell you how wonderful you are, and your game. I'll use the rare scent at some point, but not right now. But I'm definitely going to film myself doing it so you guys can see how it works. Just not in this particular episode. Also, you guys, <clears throat> after this video, um, be sure to comment below um, what what you if you like this update and things that Ludia can improve upon and things that you're just really really happy with that you've seen in this video as far as the updates have, are concerned because I'd really like to um, hear y'all's feedback as well oh they've switched these two moves around Ferocious Strike used to be the, the third move now it's on the far right okay so so also be sure to comment below if you're happy with the changes that Ludia has made. Wait, lockdown strike. Sorry about that. Um, but I'm back now, so let's go ahead and choose Greater Stunning Impact. So they did change. Um, Sarcorixus' moves, so Lockdown is no longer Impact, it's Strike, so it deals less damage. Tentrosaurus, what's its swap-in thing? Okay, it doesn't have one. Sarcorixus doesn't, has swap-in defense. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring out Stegoceratops. Hopefully I can win this. Instant cripple. Speeds reduced. Time to do some stunning. There we go. Yes, got the stun. We use our um, stunning impact. Oh man.
Got the crit, but it was very low damage, and I didn't get the stun. We're gonna go ahead and use minimal stunning strike. There we go. Oh man, I didn't get the stun. Is it still a 10% chance? Yes, it is. Okay. I just. Does it have any armor? No. So this is it for Cantrosaurus. Here we go. That speed doesn't come off, then we're done for. Yep. Stegoceratops is done for. And he's going up against his ideal enemies, sauropods. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out Notopatosaurus first. Probably won't last very long though. But still, still worth a try. Oh boy, no. Ah, oh, man. One hit crit. Well, I'm sure that will go towards my um, daily, so that's okay. Yep, two more, so now I'm halfway there. And I'm going to go ahead and do another battle for you guys. This episode is going to run a little bit slightly longer than usual, just because of the new update and wanting to show off as much as possible. And since I did make more room on my phone, my phone is capable of re um, recording long, a little longer videos, so we don't have to be afraid of that. So, so I'm I'm totally okay with doing a slightly longer episode for this video. And man, I am re I know I've been saying this practically all video, but I'm really happy with this update. And I, I know I also did the exact same thing with how happy I was with the previous update, but Ludia is just doing really well. And they're just... They're just working hard and making a good game for us. Hmm. Oh, did they... They reduce Sarcorixus's critical chance from 20% to 5% now. That's unfortunate. I like the 20% critical chance. Oh well. Shouldn't you use that move? thought I would have been able to just simply take him out with my basic attack, but that was not the case. So now Stegoceratops is already taking a heavy, hefty beating. And the next dinosaur is faster, so this is not good. Okay, Rexy. Can you bring us back from the brink? Critical, but did not get the stun on a 75% chance, so nice. And I get a crit too. Oh, they changed it to Defense Shattering Strike. So there are some moves that have actually changed. Ooh, Impact and Run. To Irritator Gen 2. Swap and Strike? Really? Okay, so there's a whole new dynamic. I didn't de I killed one dinosaur and then I got totally wrecked. That is while that it that was a unexpectedly powerful move, uh, I'm not upset about having it in the game cuz it, it does have its benefits and I'm sure it's not always going to be ideal. So, I'm not to I'm not mad that that happened. Okay, I'm ha mad that that happened, but um, it's okay that it's in the game, is what I'm trying to say. Because some dinosaurs are just really weak and don't have much going for them, and when they have something like that, that really does increase their value in this game, so... 
So it's fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring out Baryonyx. Hopefully, you can finish off Stegoceratops here. And they all gave it uh, Baryonyx Defense Shattering Strike. Don't get this done, don't get this done. Oh, man. Okay, that was not good. But he took down Stegoceratops, Inasuchus. Okay, so this is this is it for Baryonyx. So I'm just gonna get the hit out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring out Rexy. Hey Rexy. Uh, does it have anything new? Nope. And then Rexy. Um, nothing really new here. Euplocephalus. Okay, I think this is it for Rexy. Yep. Got a switch. All right, now that we got that, does he pull Cephalus? Nope, does not have any swap in <coughs> effects. Here we go. Almost enough. This is going to get pretty close. Irritator Gen 2 is back. Yeah, this is going to be either really close or I've lost. I use defense shattering attack so I can't really use bellow because it's not going to be too helpful. Rampage. Uh. Gonna switch to Rexy. Hopefully they use Ready to Crush. Nope. Mm, so close again. I'll go ahead and do one more battle. So, and then probably call it an episode. Or I'll, I'll, I'll do one more battle, then look around my immediate area, and if there's no pterosaurs to collect DNA on, then I'll just call it an episode. So one more battle, and hopefully that will be enough to finish off my daily incubator, so you can see it in this episode. So pretty. So despite the losses, I'm not too um, broken up about losing, because that does enable me to show you guys the daily incubator in this episode. So... I'm actually still happy because even with the losses, I'm still getting the dinosaurs that I've killed added to it. So that's a nice touch. So I'm not, I'm not upset about losing because it's still progressing and getting me the incubator. Blue is a very tough raptor. For level 11, having 300 more health than my Velociraptor and then having armor and 
uh, short defense. Pretty powerful. Gonna go ahead and bring out Stegoceratops. Minimal speed up strike. Okay, now that we've taken down Ehrlichosaurus, post a Metrodon. Has immunity, but has no swapping things. Immune, I should have remembered. So the stunning has no effect on this dinosaur. And got a crit. What is crit chance? 5%, okay. So I'll go ahead and bring out Ankylocodon. And the update, they did actually remove its ability to be immune to defense shattering moves. So that's um, unfortunate. I just have to... F all its moves are defense shattering. I don't know why I just did that. Short defense is not going to be helpful anymore. Yeah. Alright. And Kylagodon, you can still do it. Ooh, that was so close, but I win. Yay. And now we're going to see what the daily incubator has. <clears throat> Collect. Let's see what we get here. Incubator, we're going to get 453 coins, 10 darts, 235 DNA for Irritator Gen 2, and 24 DNA for Peru Source. So not like spectacular, but um, it's still something, and it's pretty cool. It's another added feature that I like. The next one is in 23 hours and 27 minutes. So it is a daily, so it's not something you can do multiple times in a day. And I have all these incubators that I'm going to be leaving to incubate. And I have nothing else to level. So I'm just going to go ahead and check out my immediate area. And if there's no dinosaurs worth collecting DNA on, then I'll just call it an episode. So what do we got? Nothing worthwhile collecting DNA on, so I'll go ahead and call it an episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and click subscribe so you can get more, see more of my content and ring the bell notification so you get instantly notified when I post a new video and other content. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, everyone.